Well, the White House says it's closely watching democracy protests in Hong Kong and supports the aspirations of the Hong Kong people. Tens of thousands of demonstrators rallying against Beijing's electoral plans are continuing to defy appeals to go home. Rob McBride reports. Protest leaders were worried that if they didn't get enough numbers on the streets, they would be vulnerable to riot police once more. Soon after dark on Monday, as the crowd swelled, it became clear all the worrying now belonged to the authorities. At times, a sea of illuminated cell phones, joining in songs and chants. And then a mass booing at the effigy of Hong Kong's leader, C.Y. Leung, seen as a pro-Beijing hate figure by these protesters. One of the most prominent banners here asks, do you hear the people sing? One of the most popular chants of the night has been C.Y. Leung, resign. This was a movement celebrating its own success on the very highway where the night before it was facing tear gas. On Monday night, no gas and hardly any police presence. Given the fact they launched te tear gas and, you know, pepper spray in the past couple of days, I think people are quite prepared for both. I mean, they, they knew what to expect and they still have the courage to come out and tell the government what they want and tell the world as well. You know, Hong Kong people actually do want democracy. Uh, I think the Hong Kong people are, are grow up to another level. We are, we are wanting to end a real democracy tonight for our future. This night belonged to the protest movement. The next move is with Hong Kong and China authorities. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.